Hello, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the O-State Report. I'm Sarah Taylor. You may have seen one of these giant transformer statues along Highway 51 in Stillwater, but have you ever wondered what their story is or how they got here? I'm at the Discover Wellness booth where all week the Wellness Center has been partnered with Pete's Pet Posse, hosting events and handing out flyers to raise awareness for mental health on campus. We now know who is responsible for Tuesday's terror attack in New York City. This man has been identified as 29-year-old Saifullo Saipov. Thanks for that update, Richard. It seems like with the end of the semester, there really is a sport for every spectator. So, of course, one of our favorite parts of homecoming is the decks, and so we have Jared Brown down on the streets right now to show you some of what's happening down there. In a town of 50,000 residents during the school year, Stillwater is home to many coffee shops such as national chain Starbucks and Caribou, along with local spots like Aspen Coffee Company and Everyman. Coffee is no longer just at the breakfast table. It is now an experience. Drinking coffee is no longer about your average at-home cup of joe because local coffee shops are on the rise and are turning the drink into an experience. Daily coffee consumption is increasing amongst consumers of all ages. With these gourmet coffees costing an average of three to five dollars a cup, still 63% of Americans consume coffee daily. However, less than 30% of coffee shops are locally owned. I think the atmosphere, the people who come, and it's just, yeah, it's just a part of Stillwater that you wouldn't get from a Starbucks that's in town. Or with more than seven local coffee shops blossoming in Stillwater, they each have their place and they share a loyal fan base. If each one has a di different atmosphere, they kind of have a different air about them with the employees and people who work there. But everywhere you go, even if you order the exact same drink, it's going to be different. So it, there's a lot of versatility with it. Not only are the coffee shops themselves diverse, but so are the reasons people choose to spend their time there. It's different than being at home and having other things I could be doing. And so it's just, a, it's just a good place to come and do homework or school or whatever I need to do. It's not going to feel like just another coffee shop, which a lot of times is what the franchises feel like. Local coffee shops are a staple for the Stillwater community, and it doesn't look like that will be changing anytime soon. As students approach the end of the semester, the Colvin Wellness Center offered a scary stress reliever. I had the opportunity to visit this Halloween-themed event. You don't have to be a climber to come and do these things. You can just be a brand new guy, and we'll all sit here. We'll help you through everything. We're a very tight community, but we open our arms to anybody. OSU's outdoor adventure climbing wall has climbers on it every day, but during Halloween week hosted Krankenstein, their first Halloween costume bouldering competition. Competition climbing could be a very uh, you know, intimidating event, whether you've been climbing for years, whether you just climb outside, or whether you just started climbing. Either way you slice it, it's a pretty intimidating event. Frankenstein consisted of competing in different bouldering routes, but unlike normal climbing competitions at the Colvin, it also had a costume contest. You know, it's still fun. Like, you can still meet climbers, you can still have a good time, even though, um, you know, you're getting out there being silly. And so we did that with a vehicle of, as you can see, costumes, right? So it all, automatically kind of breaks that barrier of, like, I'm the cool, strong climber. This is a competition, but it's kind of a friendly competition, so... We're here having fun, eating pizza, climbing, getting some new routes in. Both experienced and newer climbers showed up in costume to compete, win prizes, and have a good time. Climbing at the Colvin is available for people of all skill levels. For more information, visit wellness.okstate.edu. Corey Kent White was a top eight contestant on season eight of The Voice, and tonight is headlining the concert during Walk Around. Most importantly, Corey heralds the fame of OSU as a proud alumni. Yeah, Oklahoma State Homecoming. When I try to describe it to people, I, I, there's no other way to describe it than it's the best homecoming in the nation. Corey started his academic journey at Oklahoma State in 2012. This was also the first year he performed during homecoming and has been a part of the experience ever since. 
I come back to Oklahoma State Homecoming and play this show every year. It's become a tradition for us. I mean, it's six years now in the making, and I'm hoping to make it a tradition in the real Corey's time at OSU did not only provide him with a degree, but like all alumni, he left with memories that serve as inspiration for his craft. OSU is a big part of my story, and um, it's impacted my music, you know, because the people that I met here are now being put into the songs. You know, like my stories that I created, my memories that I had here uh, are now being, you know, the, the inspiration and the, the ammo for all of these songs that, that I'm cranking out. And 